What's up, YouTube? I just thought I'd show you guys something quick today. I've been working on one of my Glocks, the Tactical Advantage Glock. Uh, something we're, we're trying to do here pretty shortly is, is launch our own Tactical Advantage branded race gun, be that either in a Glock, uh, an M&P, a uh, Springfield Armory. I started with the Glocks because obviously I already have a, a Glock set up to be an open gun. Uh, so that's really what we started with. So the premise of this video, uh, we're getting some laser engraving done with the, the Tactical Advantage skull and the, uh, the rest of the, the company logo on it. So um, one of the first people that I'm, I'm going to build one of these guns for is Mr. Surgical Precision, which a few of you guys may know, uh, long range shooter on YouTube, successful channel, good guy, I've known him for a few years now, uh, we've collaborated on some stuff and he's become a pretty good friend of mine. So he's getting number 0002 of the Tactical Advantage pistol. Uh, obviously mine will be 0001. Uh, as we get further into what's going on with those, I'll, I'll explain more uh, of the different tiers and what we're doing with the gun. So if you guys want to order one or, or get to talking to me. So really, back to what's going on with this is uh, with the laser engraving we're going to do on the slide, uh, Mr. Surgical Precision said, hey, you know, I'd, I'd like to have the sides of my Glock slide polished up to a, a mirror polish, which is something I haven't done before. But uh, so I started doing it on mine just to see how it would come out. Obviously, what you're looking at right here is just a slide where I just started to kind of take the finish off it a little bit. Uh, this is really just a first pass just to start getting the stuff out so I can polish it. And uh, for anyone that's really curious about the durability of your Glock pistol finish, uh, let me tell you this, it's hard. It, uh, it took about $20 worth of sandpaper and power tools to get it off. But anyway, you know, obviously this is what the slide looks like uh, once you do a one pass. If you look at the top, that's really what you look like from the factory. I mean, everyone's kind of familiar with that, that kind of matte Glock finish. And what I really wanted to show you guys was the mirror polish. Uh, this just got finished up today. I'll get some close-ups for you so you can see, but obviously she's pretty shiny. Uh, the logo is going to go right here on the gun. You'll have the skull uh, right at the muzzle and you'll have tactical advantage over to the side and the serial number uh, once we get these out and going. But this is something I've, I've never done before that I find pretty interesting. You know, if you guys are longtime watchers, you know I do a lot of restorations, a lot of uh, stuff like that. But I've never polished anything, especially carbon steel, to, uh, to a mirror finish like that. But really happy with it. Wanted to share it with you guys. Um, I'll get a couple close-ups and that'll be it, man. But, uh, you know, if you guys have any questions about this, I'm also probably going to throw up a video of doing the opposite side of this slide to kind of show you guys what's involved. Uh, this will be the one time that I probably do not suggest you try and do this on your own. Uh, it takes some pretty big balls to uh, take a power sander to your, your slide and just start going to town. And it is uh, quite labor intensive. Uh, it looks good for sure, but I would highly recommend that uh, any of you guys wanting to get this done, consult with a professional or someone that's done it before because there's a, there's definitely potential to screw up your gun. But anyway, thanks for watching guys. Uh, we'll talk to you later. Good stuff.